happy, happy birthday, Howard. Birthday. Wishing you a happy 80th birthday. We love you. Have love a you. great day. Adri, say something. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Howard. 80 years wise. Congratulations. I feel like we became friends 30 years ago when you whispered in my ear that I listened close enough. I could hear the sun sizzle out from Lake Michigan. I still think about that. And then we grew up, both of us, and then you shared with me this. You shared with me your art. This up on the wall. And from this art, I think of you daily. So thank you for sharing your art with me and your beautiful and bright spirit. Happy birthday, lots and lots of love. Uh, okay. Uh, happy birthday, Howard. Uh, hope, would love to be there to help you celebrate, but we'll do that this summer. Uh, first of all, thank you for marrying our, our rebellious daughter. <laughs> that took a big load off of our plate. <laughs> and I, the thing I admired about you over the years is how tranquil and, and you are in all of the the, uh, what should I say, stressful moments that we have had along the way. So anyway, it's been a real pleasure and I hope we have a lot more memories to record. Love you. Okay, we're on. Happy birthday, Howard. We wish you the very best. You are always the host with the most and a wonderful cook. But most of all, we just love you because you're Howard. Yeah, and we, whether you're Howard or Rich, uh, we play golf or try to play golf with you every year. And uh, I don't know, maybe five or six years ago, I was having a lot of problems putting. And, and then lo and behold, I get this book in the mail that was supposed to help me putt. And then it was probably two years after that that I found out it came from you. So thank you very much for the, the Hank Haney Fix for the yips. Appreciated that and happy birthday. Yo, Howard. It's Greg DeLue. Happy birthday. Sorry I'm not there to celebrate with you, but I hope you have an awesome day. We love you and can't wait to see you. Happy birthday. Hey, Howard. Happy, happy 80th birthday. Jamie Rempler here. I am so excited that I get to celebrate your 80th birthday with, I've got two memories of you and one thing I love about you. So the two memories are, I can't smell the dark blue Trident gum without thinking of you. We, Paige would drive your car, I don't know why, maybe it's before she got her car, but I think you had a blue car. And anytime we were in your car, you would always have the dark blue Trident gum and we'd always eat all of it and leave you with none. That was so nice of us. Um, so I know that is your favorite gum. I don't know if it still is. But anyway, the other memory I have of you is popcorn. We stay the night at your house probably almost every Friday night. And you always had popcorn. You always had a special popcorn container you made it in. And I love popcorn. And so it's just one of the things when I think about you, I think about that gum and that popcorn. And the last thing I got to tell you, one of the best things about you, one of the most things that I love about you is how much you love your wife. You set such a great example for us on how a man should treat his wife and let her be her. And we all know Reed Howard is a force to be reckoned with. And you have always, always, always let her fly free. And I just love that. And it's such a great example to all of us. And so thank you so much, Howard. Have an amazing, amazing birthday, 80 years. Wow, what a legacy you have left. Have a great one. Hey, we heard it's somebody's birthday coming up. Wonder how old he's going to be. Do you know? 80. <laughs> Never going to be 79 again. Okay. Well, we have some things to say about Howard. He's been a loyal son, the greatest husband, a loving father, an amazing pow-pow. 
He's been kind, caring, loving, sharing because he has to be. He's in a family and they're all kind, caring, loving, sharing. Right? You believe it. And we wanted to talk about some of the things we know about Howard over the years. And the first thing is that he was a lawyer. And? A <laughs> good lawyer. I remember a guy, a young, thin guy with long hair. A mustache, bell-bottom pants, and I thought, hey, this is my brother-in-law. <laughs> After 50 years, <clears throat> the long hair is gone, the mustache is gone, the bell-bottoms are gone, and, but not only do I still have a brother-in-law, I have a true friend. And oh a lot gosh, of- you make me cry. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> this is from the heart, buddy. She's got stuff written here. I, this is from the heart. Just, just- Bullet points. This is from the heart. Okay. He's Sorry. also been a biker, a crepe maker. I guess I was done. <laughs> and a golfer. You could talk about golfing. A lot of good memories on the boat. A lot of good memories with the kids. A lot of good memories on the golf course. And that's not including Dave Hutton. <laughs> okay. So he's been a stock pro and a grill master. But right now he's a savvy card player. So, we've known him for 50 years. Over and, 50. Over 50. And God, he I just gets better with age, like the rest of us. Are we that old? So, we're going to raise a glass and toast Howard. Chardonnay. On his 80th birthday. Happy birthday, Happy buddy. Happy birthday, Howard. Have a good one. Happy birthday, Howard. My favorite thing about you is how kind you are, and I love you, and I miss you. Happy 80th birthday, Howard. I just wanted to drop a quick note and uh, wish you a happy birthday and say that you are and always have been and will continue to be such an important part of my life. I have memories from when you were just a little thing, just in your 30s, and we were tucked in and sleepovers at your house, and you would tell us the story of the lion, the thorn in his paw. I remember hanging with you on your 40th birthday with a how hard Howard is cracking 40 t-shirt. I remember hanging with you in your 50s when we would go to the Bahamas. I remember in the six, when your 60s when we robbed that bank and shot those security guards. That might have been somebody else, but it might have been you. I remember singing happy birthday at your 70th birthday party and all the great memories of all the years in between out at the cottage and having you at our place and, and Wood Lane and everything in between. And though I can't be there right on your 80th birthday, I'm gonna see you this summer. So happy birthday. I hope it's a great one. I love you. Hey Howard, happy birthday uh, from your favorite lamb, or should, except for the female lambs. So favorite male lamb for sure. Uh, just wanna say thank you for you know treating us all lambs like family and graciously inviting us into your home when we've given you so many reasons not to invite us into your home. And, uh, and mostly uh, for teaching me that eating raw fish on a beach uh, is not acceptable, not because it's unhealthy, but because you'll never live it down. So uh, happy 80th, I wish you the best and uh, hope you have a great 80th birthday. Hi Howard, wishing you a happy birthday here from Lebanon. Um, I just wanted to say happy birthday and, you know, just something I love about you is from the moment Brett brought me to meet the Howards, just how loving you are and um, inviting. And I always felt just so welcome, which has always been just wonderful. And my favorite memory is when we were on Bill's boat and K.O. was all bundled up in his blanket cuddling next to you, which just further proves how wonderful and loving um, and just such a wonderful person you are. And so happy birthday, hope to see you this summer. Love you very much. Hey Rich, happy birthday. It's always great being with you on the golf course or even at the house having your gourmet salmon uh, dinners. We're looking forward to the possibility of someday hitting a couple more presidential libraries with you guys. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happiest birthday wishes to you, Howard. I just wanted to say that I love the way that you exude joy. Anyone that's around, you can't help but smile just being in your presence. And I also really love the way 
that you love your family. It's truly beautiful. And I hope you have a wonderful birthday and feel all the love. Hello, Howard, and happy birthday to you. I can't believe it's 80. I can't believe those years have gone by so fast. I have lots of fond memories of our political discussions and our boating adventures during those days. So I'm wishing you, uh, as I said, a very happy birthday, happy birthday week, happy birthday year, with many more to come. So take care. Bye-bye. Howard, happy birthday! 80, I can't believe it. It's okay, you act like 20. Um, I just wanted to send you a quick message and thank you. Um, you taught me a beautiful life, life lesson quite some time ago about the art of thoughtful questioning. And I use it today um, still, even with my kids. So I can't thank you enough for that. It is a skill um, that I cherish and think about you often when I get to use it, when I'm meeting new people and even having conversations with my kids. So I hope you have the best birthday. Um, and I love that you call me Pete. So happy birthday from Pete. Hi, Howard. In honor of your 80th birthday, I wanna share with you something I've always admired about you. In addition to your loyalty and generosity to your friends, I've always loved your passion. Whether it's sailing or running or biking or cooking or photography, your passionate pursuit of your interests has always led to excellence. So carry on and have a wonderful birthday. Happy birthday, Howard. I remember when we first met and I asked you what you wanted to be called and uh, I didn't know whether you were called Rich or Howard uh, and you said um, to call you anything but Dick. <laughs> um, I've always thought of you as a very intelligent, witty, calm presence, uh, but never a Dick. So anyway, I hope you have a wonderful birthday surrounded by family and friends. I hope to see you soon. Bye. Howard, happy birthday. Dude, you are one of a kind. More than anyone I know, you're comfortable in your own skin, most surgery notwithstanding. And by that, I mean, you really know who you are. You have a great worldview, and I'm really happy to be part of your world. Hey, Howard, happy birthday from your pal Nadraj. You have always been such a great lesson for us, always remaining positive, unflappable you don't sweat the small things you don't even sweat the large things like when i tried to light your bluff on fire and for that i love you and i hope you're having the greatest day miss you howard i remember celebrating your 40th birthday so 40 years of you being a great friend golf partner a lawyer which i needed um and a father figure. So happy birthday. You know I love you very much and I look forward to seeing you soon. Howard, I would like to wish you a very, very happy birthday. And at this time, I would like to acknowledge how you have, through the many, many years, complimented my dear, dear, free-spirited friend. And you've done it with reliability and with flexibility while holding your own personal strength. And I so admire and respect that. And I wish you all the best in this upcoming decade. Love you. Take care. Howard, happy birthday. You know, a lot of my life right now it includes offspring of parents who just can't seem to figure it out and a common theme that I'm noticing is why don't these parents talk to their kids and be authentic and be vulnerable and be open and build a relationship with them and I think be like Howard why don't you connect with your kids like Howard to help them grow and learn and so on your birthday, my friend, I want to celebrate you and how you've created these amazing kids that you have and how you've chosen to engage with them, communicate, and share your lives together. You're a legend. Happy birthday, Howard. Cheers, my friend. Okay. Happy birthday, Howard. Happy birthday, Howard. Uh, we love you very much. We love you very much. Uh, 
you've been a big part of our lives. You've been, you've been a big part of our lives. And? And? You, you say something. Honor. Honor. There you go. We love you. We love you. <laughs> say, say what I said. Happy 8th birthday, Howard. Thank you for the honor and respect. Thank you for the kindness. Thank you for what's other things. Thank you for all the joy. Thank you for all the joy. Period. Period. Thank you for all the joy. Period. That's it. And we love you. And anything else? No. And nothing else. That's all you get. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Howard. Howard, we want to wish you a great coming year. Happy 80th birthday. We love you. Happy Say birthday. happy birthday, Howard. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, <laughs> happy birthday Howard. I'm so happy you're alive. Um, and I'm happy that Paige asked for us to make these videos. I've got so many memories of you. I don't even know where to start and I'm already tearing up. Um, I just love you so much. You've been a father figure to me and a friend and a teacher um, from, you know, us being kids and just running around and all of these loud personalities. You always were just a space of calm and centered and still sparkling in your own way but just gave us so much space to be who we were without judgment um i recall being a young kid and catching catching you in these moments when i would walk into the living room and you'd have paul simon on or um, when we were on the boat and you'd have james taylor and just observing a dad being like lost in their own space and feeling emotions. You know, I made up all kinds of stories of what these songs meant to you, but it was beautiful for me to see and that's really stuck with me. Um, and through all of my many life's trials and tribulations and just calling you and you loving me through them and giving great words of advice and staying again steady and sometimes firm when I needed it. Um, but always having a smile. The trust that you put into me and the love that you gave to me, I, I, I it's irreplaceable to me. The love that you've given to my kids, I, I know that we've talked about this so many times, but um, Isaiah sitting on your lap as before he was one and you talking to him about what the son was doing, even though he may or may not have been understanding you and then taking the time again when he was older <laughs> to sit his big self on your lap and recreate that for him. It was beautiful for me to see, still is beautiful for me to see you finding the beauty in nature and learning about things and just watching you know that you never know enough. There's always space to learn and grow and find love and beauty in things. I appreciate you so much. Happy birthday. there. Happy birthday, Howard. Just working on your birthday present. Wanting to wish you the best magical 80th birthday ever. Wish we were there. Miss you. Love you. Um, my favorite memory um, with you is just watching the sunset sizzle into Lake Michigan with a glass of wine and just talking about everything and nothing. Sometimes more and nothing. But it's just wonderful. I could just listen to your beautiful Calm, peaceful voice all day long. Love you, miss you. Mwah. No, honey, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not doing it yet. No, I'm gonna, yes, I'll put a shirt on. I'm not gonna record naked for Howard's birth. No, I just, I'm trying to decide what to say because Paige said 30 seconds. I need like 30 minutes. I, yes, I'm gonna put a shirt on. I know I'm a little, overweight. It's fine, honey. I'll be fine. Okay. Ah, Howard. 
fine evening, isn't it? Hey, Howard, I just wanted to uh, call and give a toast to you and just say thank you for everything that you did for all of us, um, all of us kids in the neighborhood. My most indelible memories of Howard uh, happened to be in the car. Uh, drives to Detroit when my parents didn't want to spend time with me. Um, Howard would spend time with me. And uh, I remember the van, the van rides to Detroit. And um, I just enjoyed uh, Howard's laid back uh, demeanor. And I always felt relaxed in his presence. Um, and always just tried to garner some of the wisdom uh, that he clearly had to share. Um, I also remember car rides. I forget what kind of car it was, but a little, little car that we'd go out to South Haven. Uh, Howard would have worked a whole day and, um, he would take us out to South Haven in the summer and, uh, he would be doing recordings on his little mini recorder. Uh, I'm sure violating, uh, many, uh, legal, uh, ethical standards by letting us hear what he was saying. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, that was really neat to see him working and uh, doing his thing. I just thought he was the coolest guy. Love you, Howard. Thanks so much for everything.